In this video, we are going to talk about how to make a family. I mean Revit family, not actual family family. In this video, this is the part one of this entire series that I'm going to make. How to create Revit families, how to create parametric Revit families, what are type parameters, instant parameter, how you can give material parameters, what are the features that you can uh, give into a family, how you can nest a family in a family, how you can create uh, variations in a family. So all of these things I will cover in this particular series. And a lot of you have asked me about this. So do not forget to hit a like to this video and subscribe to this channel if you are watching this video. I am taking all this effort. I am putting all this knowledge out for you for free. I'm not doing it like other channels making course and stuff just because so that you can learn. I can get more people to follow this channel to improve your skills as an architect. So please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to this channel. And without any delays, let's get started with the video, guys. So guys, this is how the interface will look like uh, when you open your Revit. I'm using Revit 2023. I can use the other variant as well, but 23 works for me because I can use the other projects that we are working on on this. So I will just open and create a new family. I will go. There are templates over here that Revit gives us. So I will just select metric furniture actually this over here so this is the template that i'm selecting i work usually on metric so i think so metric is fine uh then click open okay guys so this is the overall interface that you will find in your family environment this is the reference level that is your plan view this is your front view this is your 3d view left view you won't see anything over here, but let's get started with how you can create families. So in family creation, first thing you should remember that reference planes, okay? Reference planes are like bones of your structure or your family. And the extrusions that you make is just the skin. And so the bones are actual things that are making your uh, family stable and these are the thing on which the parameters will be assigned so dimensions and all the parameters are like muscles so the parameters and dimensions are attached to the reference planes so i will just show you over here i won't bore you with this so these are reference plane so over here i'll just create a reference plane okay so this is my one and my second reference plane okay and here you can see on the properties tab over here that is reference is set to weak reference okay but we don't want it weak because this is probably the back side of my table that i will be creating okay and i will just name it back and this is the front side so I will select that it is a front and name it front. I will teach you why I'm doing this later. So here you go. I just selected dimension, align dimension, then just dimension this. Okay. And there you will see that equal mark, then click over here. Then these are equal. So basically, if you move one of this line, it will always move along with the other one and equally. Then now I need width of this table. So again, I will go here, reference plane. See, there are two options over here. You can click on pick lines. First, I selected this in which you can just go here and individually create line, but you can pick line as well. And because it's a metric family, I will just give it an offset of 600 mm. So 600 this side, 600 this side. And again, I will go on a line dimension. Click here and here. And click on this equal mark. Then I will click here and here. 
and make a full dimension out of it now i will show you like how you can make this a dimension parameter so you just click on this okay i'm just teaching you uh, directly over here because it's a quick tutorial i don't want it to be like 20 30 minutes long i just click here okay first you click on this dimension then you click here and you give it a name so just see that it should be a family parameter it should be a type and click here and say width okay and then this will be your depth again you click on this click here and give it depth and if you want to see these parameters you will be able to see it over here can you see this property uh, tab over here just click on family types and once you click on this you will see that depth and width are already here in dimension section so just click ok so now you have a uh, depth of your table and width of your table okay now you need to put height as well right so you will go in front elevation and create a height what is the general height of table probably 750 750 mm so i click on this pick a line and then i'm taking a reference line to pick this is here clicking on this reference line so this will be the top portion of our table right so i will go here select top and name this reference plane as top reference plane okay i think this is the basic process that is clear and i will go ahead and again dimension this and click here make it a height parameter so now this becomes your height okay and now i'm going on to this and now what other thing is needed in a table are its four legs that will give it a support so now we have to make legs so we need a structure so you need bones to need bones you need to create bones so i will get, click on create again select reference plane and then select pick a line and how thick your uh, table legs are for most probably for most of the people it's 50 mm that is around 5 centimeter so what i will do is click the offset 550 and then give an offset here and i will make sure that the offset is the inner side so that the table legs are on the inside of the table okay i'm just creating a frame right now around the table so this and this now what you need to do is select align dimension so most of the time most of the time when you create legs of your table uh, you want those legs to move with the width and the dimension of the table like right if it expands the legs should also expand or else the legs will stay there if you make them st smaller the legs will stay outside so for that to avoid that you need to lock these so i will click here 50 here 50 here also 50 okay and now you might always see that what are these locks so these are basically locking the dimensions so when you lock the dimensions these reference lines get locked so basically this is the main reference line this is the back reference line that we have created and this is the reference line for the legs that we want to create okay so this reference line is now locked to the back one and similarly this will be locked to the front one and these are our right okay so i will name it right right and i'll click here lock it and this one is left so i'll just go ahead here and click left so i have right and left now i will lock this as well so now all the reference planes i have logged so our basic basic structure 
like the wire frame has been created now let's go ahead and create the extrusions that uh, we want to have like the table formation which is very interesting actually so go ahead here on extrusion click here let's create the table top first okay so i will select rectangle and then you can give subcategories if you have any so i haven't made any subcategories and materials i will show this in our next video but right now just select rectangle click here on any of this corner okay it will automatically snap onto this corner and then go on the opposite side and click here and you will see all these locks okay so just go ahead and lock these but if you don't see it okay just open these locks i'm just doing this to show you guys you can go ahead here on align okay you can click here to lock but if you don't there is this method you can click on this reference plane and then on this line that sketch line that you have created and uh, now you can lock it then click here here and now you can lock it click here here and now you will have the option to lock it but if you click here on this lock option on top what will happen you will just see so i will click on this reference plane and on this sketch line look it got locked automatically so these are the workflows that you will discover on yourself but i'm just giving you an overview that this is how the work set or like workflow looks like so this is already locked so any reference line uh, every any reference plane that is locked with the sketch line you won't be able to align it again because it is already locked okay now go on the modify and create extrusion and just click yes now you will go in the front elevation okay i will just show you parallel to this how was it ah yes like this okay so now we will go in the front elevation and now you can see that your table is on the bottom okay so now what you have to do your table will be on the top reference plane right like because you need to have a table top so you can go on align again click on this and click on the top of your extrusion now it is locked because i have clicked lock over here it is locked automatically and now you have to give a table thickness right because right now it looks like a solid block solid rectangular block and you don't want that so click on create reference plane click on pick lines then go here and just give it a 3 cm uh thickness which is 30 mm so i'll go here and do this and then align dimension and give it a thickness and now i will lock it to the top reference plane and name it as the okay first let me make it a not reference and then i will name it as base of table top this is a good habit to have and name for all your reference uh, reference planes it 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 helps i will show you how later in this series and now so for example you can just drag it till here and you will have an option to lock it but i usually don't do it i usually suggest that you just click here and just snap it so that it locks okay and now let's also have a 3d view at our disposal so that we can observe so this is how our table looks like right now okay and this is the width and the depth and let's just test out if our structure that we have created works or not okay 
so depth is 1000 i will wait just want you guys to see it and witness yourself like how it how we can manipulate this so depth is 1000 i will change it to 2 and width is 1200 mm so i will make it 2200 mm and just click apply look it changed it changed the entire size of this now it's 2000 and this is 2200 so this is how you manipulate the structure and manipulate the extrusion so i will just go back to our previous parameters and how it is over here so to arrange these parameter you can do one thing that you can go on this move parameter up or down i can move it down it's just how i arrange things so this is one thing that you did now let's go on reference level let's make it a bit smaller and now let's create the legs of our table i go here you can create individual legs and do okay over here and you can also do this like in one extrusion you can create all of these legs i'm doing it in a shortcut way just so that you know it's very simple for you to understand so i'm just creating these extrusions in the frame that we created for the legs so these are the frames that we created like 50 by 50 okay and remember to lock all the sides this is a very important thing don't forget to lock if you don't lock things it will be a very messy affair for you i will show you what happens if you don't lock things so now you can see all of these uh, legs are created but they are again like how our table was so i will go here and select the lower part of the table and select the top of my legs and just lock it on the top if you want you can lock the base as well but it's not needed because it's already on reference plane so reference level but you can go ahead and lock this but now you will go here and see your table will look more like a table and you can manipulate the size from here depth you can create like um, 900 mm width you can make it 2200 mm and this is how it will look like and everything will move accordingly even if you edit the height you will see how height also gets manipulated as in 250 see so all of these are changing based on how we have created this table so this is how you create a parametric family next video will be about how you can give them materials how you can manipulate types how you can nest a chair family in this and how you can array a chair family in a table family so this will be our next topic i hope you like this video i hope this gave you a basic understanding of how a family is created from scratch and how a table family is created there are a lot of different types of family that i will teach you in this series if it goes well so hit a like to this video and subscribe to my channel support this channel so that i can show you and uh, give you more informative content like this so go ahead hit a like subscribe and take care of yourself i'll see you in the next video